Starting with review number two because I got this cigar. It's a long Toscano. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually light it from this this end here. I'm gonna light it right there. Well, it's it's you stay as young as long as you can, but each age, right? It's a dry cured, you know I mean? a dry cured Toscano Italian cigar. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Whatever it is that makes your business great, promote it with Vista. It's very smoky on the pre-light draw. Very smoky. It's like hickory. Um, very hickory sweetness on the pre-light draw smell. So yeah, I'm going to get started on this and I'll provide the, the details later on it. By the way, a lot of sweetness, nice, nice flavors. Retro hail, very calm, very mild right now. Smelled like it was a little stronger on the pre-light uh, taste also. Um, but the wrap is very loose. This is a Toscano. I don't know what type it is exactly, but I got it and got it given to me, so I'm giving it a shot. It's good though, it's, it's high quality tasting, so I'll come back in a little bit and give my take on it. Talk to you later. Twenty-five minutes to a half hour in. I'm, I don't think I'm even a third in. It's long. It's burning slow, but it's also burning good with nice mild flavors. It's mild yet it, yet it packs in the flavor department, but it's mild. It's Connecticut level mild. It's not strong. Retro hail, sub pepper spice, some black pepper spice, and red pepper in there. With a creamy, nutty, um, just very creamy and nice. It's, this is a good cigar. It's dry cured. It comes in a five. I kind of see why they're a little more. They got good tobacco in here. They're just not humidified like some of the other ones. They're in a pack, a box, a long box. Someone who watches my videos will know what I'm talking about. You know who you are, too. Edward. But these dry cureds are pretty good here. I don't get them regularly, but they're, they're pretty good. Um, it's nice. It's Now I'm getting like a peppery, a peppery zing with... With some other flavor I can't, like a little clove, a little bit of clove with nuttiness and almond. It's unique. It tastes different than other cigars I've had recently. It's mild, it's smooth, it's burning even. So yeah, I like it and I'll be back in a bit. About an hour in. It's lasting a while. Slow burn, slow smoke. The draw of it's snug enough to make it so it smokes longer. And now it's getting a little strong. It's about a, it's about up to a medium right now. 
going good. The only problem, I would say, is the folds, like the way it's rolled. Sometimes you get pieces sticking up, maybe the, the tough knot right there might take a little bit to burn, or sometimes I have to, I had to clip those as they were stopping. But it's a nice cigar, though, very good flavors. It's, it's an hour in or a little more at this point. It tastes very sweet still, very... A little bit of cedar, but it's, it's actually a little bit of licorice coming out in the flavor now. A little bit of licorice. Almost like the Hoya Black. It's kind of tasting like the Hoya de Nicaragua Black at this point. Smooth, nice, buttery, oily. And the oil developed on it to some degree. It, uh, see that right there I didn't really care much for. That's the only thing though. The cigar is great. Otherwise. It's good. I recommend it. I recommend even buy a five if you're not worried about humidification and all that. <clears throat> buy the box. It's a quality taste. It's good tobacco. It's not crap at all. It's really good. They have Italian freaking cigars for Christ's sake. Got underrated, rugged types. You can stick them in a backpack. You can crush them and they won't, um, they won't break. You know? They won't break. They're built for durability and toughness. I like cayenne pepper out the retro hail now. Not overbearing, it won't choke you out. It's very good. So, entirely different smoke from the Macadudo I have, but that's okay. I like different. So, and it's getting very oily. Oil, you see the oil slicks right there? It's, it's looking good. It's oily, buttery. Feels a little chewy, too. An hour and 15 minutes to an hour and 20. As you see, it's very, very oily right in here. The oil's coming out in it. It'll be the last video. But I'm down to the final third, easily. Got to snip a little of the end off to make it draw a little bit better. Good cigar. It wouldn't be for me as far as buying five of them because they can be priced up to up to 15 bucks, I think, for five of them or something. So I like to get something better, you know, that I like more in my shape normally. But it's a good shape. It's nice. It's, I like the smoke. The flavor is flavor's great. This wouldn't be something I would buy ordinarily, but it's good. It's oily. You can see the oils coming out. But sometimes those ends, they, they you gotta snip them sometimes because they get because they're built tough. So very good smoke. I enjoy it. Tasting licorice and sweet licorice right now with earth and cedar notes. I'm a mild to medium side still. Medium, I'll go with. Mild for the first half, then it's mild to medium, then it's a medium, a full medium, as it goes down. Retro hill, black peppery, cedar, creaminess, and that's it. I'm going to review this. This has been the Toscano Long um, Dry Cured Italian Cigar. I'm going to see what kind it is totally, then I can post it down in the description. So there, talk to you later.